Paul Science Technician. It's not all glamour. Sometimes someone gives you a present. Now, my head of department came in the other day and said, I've got a present for you. I didn't get excited because usually when someone comes in and says, I've got a present for you, it's something like the blue tack they borrowed three weeks ago or a load of tests that need refiling or some dirty glassware with who knows what in. However, she gave me a bag. So then I did get a bit excited. And then she said, I'm not really sure if this is a present. So I started thinking, what is this going to be? And then I thought, what if it's a dead body? And I got excited because it kind of is. Well, it's two part present. This is part one by one. Look at that. I need to cover my face. I don't understand this business. Look at it. Can you look at it? Yes. It's a skull. I think it's a rabbit skull. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I've been enjoying looking at it. I could bleach it, I suppose. Don't know. Anyway, I think that's a rabbit. That's pretty cool. Annoying, annoying. Uh, and then the other thing is bigger. It's a human. No, it's not human. It's a bit more delicate. It's a colander. No. It's a nest. It's a wasp's nest, I think. Look at that. It's very delicate. It's very old. She's had it about 10 years, apparently. Can I even... Oh, it's incredibly delicate. Can I get this out? Yes. It's pretty cool. If I can show you the honeycomb structure. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's inside. Three bits like that inside. Or well, more. Many. Many honeycombs. Many. It's a wasp's nest or a bee's nest. It is full of... <laughs> I've made right a nest now. Look there. So this is all like chewed up paper. I don't know anything about these. I really must look into them. You can tell me about them. This also looks like, if it wasn't full of junk, it looks like it was making the most excellent hat. They're so cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I guess I'm going to show kids. But I mean, it's so delicate. But maybe I could somehow preserve some of these honeycomb bits and then put this in some kind of... What I really need is a giant, like, dome. You know, what are those called? Bell, not bell jar. Are they called bell jars? Yeah, bell jar. Giant bell jar with this inside. And then I could put the honeycomb bit between in some kind of something. Because then they could look at it, but not to destroy it. These are the kind of presents I like. I feel I might be disappointed at Christmas.